I think that at one point or another, we've all found ourselves getting locked out of our smartphones, but when it comes to iPhones, that can very well happen with something like iCloud. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to delete your iCloud account with or without a password from your iPhone, Windows, and Mac. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Why not subscribe for a lot more informative videos just like this and some tech reviews as well. Also make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your questions down below if you have any. And if not, it always help if you want to head and share this video around as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and begin. It's very important to point out how that we should back up our device if anything ends up going wrong. As we all know, how we can choose to back up our whole device with iTunes, but this method is not really so flexible as it is pretty much all or nothing in this case and doesn't allow us to selectively back up iPhone files that we want. As for the iTunes backup files, we can't exactly read it normally on the computer because of the format compatibility problem. In order to be able to delete our iTunes, we can go ahead and take up the assistance of our old friend, Dr. Phone. Now, this app is designed in order to selectively back up iPhone files as you choose to a computer. And let's go ahead and talk about how that works. So go ahead and run Dr. Phone. And from there, just go ahead and click on backup and then connect your iPhone onto your computer. And then go ahead, choose the iPhone over here from all of these tools available to you right on screen. And Dr. Phone is just going to automatically detect your device and then choose what type of device you're dealing with. And then from there, you can just go ahead and click on backup and the backup process will begin. After the data is finally backed up and completed, you can either just open up a backup location in order to check your backup files to the local storage or just go ahead and click the backup history as to check all of your backup files on your computer and click the view button in order to check the backup contents and then just tick whatever you want and go ahead and click export to PC in order to restore the device or export selected files to your computer and having them saved right then and there. Now here we go with method number one. And with Dr. Phone, you can just effortlessly bypass, remove, unlock your iCloud account lock within just a few seconds. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that in just a bit. And being the best and the most trusted tool in the market, Dr. Phone has the highest success rate in the matter. And moreover, this tool is absolutely compatible with the latest iOS 14 or with any iPhone slash iPad. This process is really just as easy as one, two, and three. And now let's get to know exactly how to use Dr. Phone iCloud Unlock slash Screen Unlock. So let's go ahead and dive right in with that. Then just visit our website and then go ahead and download Dr. Phone from there. And afterward on the main menu, just go ahead and click on the Screen Unlock option. Now you need to make sure that you can establish a firm connection between your device and the computer using an authentic lightning cable only. And then go ahead and select the Unlock iOS Screen option. And just make sure to follow it. You're going to be asked to boot your device in DFU mode in order to proceed any further. And then just go ahead and follow the on instructions as it's going to walk you through the process booting your iPhone in DFU mode very easily. And as soon as your device is already into DFU mode, display the device's corresponding information over your screen. And then just go ahead and double check and then hit the start button in order to initiate downloading the latest compatible firmware version of your device. And then lastly, when the firmware version is successfully downloaded, you're going to have to hit the unlock now button in order to get started with removing the iCloud account lock. And then just wait up until it's done and then you're pretty much good to go from there. And you should be able to access your phone without having any issues regarding your iCloud account. And method number two is going to be our next one. That is going to be done directly from your device. And here's exactly how to delete your iCloud account from your iPhone or iPad. Just go ahead and tap on the settings app and then scroll down in order to find iCloud. And then go ahead and tap on iCloud in order to open it. And then scroll down until you find delete account option and then tap on that. Go ahead and tap on delete again in order to confirm uh, your selection here and then you're pretty much free of your iCloud account from here. And those three steps, you can effectively remove your iCloud account with your iPhone or iPad. And once this is done, then you're going to be left with a blank iCloud account. And you can choose to create a new Apple ID or change to another iCloud account altogether. But I'm going to suggest that you back up your iPhone before deleting your iCloud account. And please refer to the preparation part. Let's just go ahead and move back a little bit on this video in order for you to find that in case you missed it. Now, if you're going to be deleting your iCloud account on your Mac, well, then that's going to lead us over to method number three. And that is going to be, well, to do exactly that, but over a Mac device. Once you're on your Mac, just go ahead and click on the Apple logo and then click on system preferences from the context menu. And the system preferences, when 
window, just go ahead and click on Mail, Contacts, and Calendars, and then choose iCloud from the left panel of the next window. And then just check the box with the app you would like to enable or disable, and in this case, it's going to be iCloud. And with that said, you're pretty much good to go from there. And moving on to method number four, you can actually delete your iCloud account from Windows as well. And if you want to remove it, here are going to be a step-by-step -step on how to easily do that. Before we get to those steps, you must have a backup for all of your information for iCloud. On your Windows PC, go ahead and click on Start and select the control panel and then choose Uninstall a program. Find iCloud in the list of programs on your computer and select iCloud for Windows from this computer when finally prompted. And go ahead and click on Yes in order to confirm the deletion and an installation and wait for the process to complete at last. And then go ahead and click on Yes when the PC asks you if you want iCloud to make any changes to it. And once the process is finally complete, click on Finish and then manually restart your system from there and then all of those changes would have been implemented right then and there which is going to lead us to our very last method and that is going to be method number five and we're going to give you some tips on exactly how to remove your iCloud account without a password on your iPhone so here's how that's going to be done in case you do need to do it this way I just go to the settings app or iCloud then when prompted go ahead and click on the password and enter any random number and tap on done and the iCloud is just going to tell you the username and password that you enter are incorrect and then click on OK and then cancel to go back to the main iCloud page and after that I just tap on account again but this time I remove the description and then go ahead and tap on done and this time you're going to be taken to the main iCloud page without entering your password then you will also notice that the find my iPhone feature has been turned off and go ahead and scroll down and tap on delete and you're going to be prompted to confirm the deletion that you can go through with by just tapping on delete once more and finally confirming that and you're pretty much good to go from there and that's pretty much it those have been five methods of deleting your iCloud account with and without a password and if you like this video then go ahead and leave us a like and then make sure to comment all of your questions down below as we would love to be able to answer them as well and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can stay updated on all of our future uploads when we do upload any of these awesome tutorials moving forward and do make sure to share this video with others who might need it as well and with that said until next time enjoy